Morning girls, how are we doing? Back here again with Chantel and probably not Sal. This one is way in Monday, did I lose or gain? This was before the one in the park where she went with the petting zoo and she pretended to do push-ups, that kind of thing. Uh, so what I want to do now is there are a few where she just sits and eats at her like mukbangy videos. This one is obviously her way in Monday, her going to flex and pretend that she lost a bunch of weight more than likely. Then the next one's like a Taco Bell mukbang. Um, because that's what you do on a diet. And then the last one's the chicken pot pie. So I'm going to try and do those three in a row here. And then I think I've got like, God, what is it? It's like going to the Iraq border. Uh, God, God. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to Iraq border and uh, plus size Abaya shopping. And then there's another one that just came out like Arabic breakfast or some shit like that. I'm going to try and then do those three as, as a three. And then that should be it. And then that's me totally caught up with everyone. Angels will sing and rejoice everything they got. So guys, let's just get straight into this. Well, hello, beautiful hello. people. So I'm going to have lunch with you guys. Fantastic. And talk. The size of those fucking just pepper strips. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she, she really does the Amberlynn school thing where she's like, guys, if I just show you some vegetables, you'll definitely think I'm healthy, right? Talk about my most recent weigh-in, which I will show you. Don't worry. I bet you won't. So for hey guys, look! Sandwich! It's not even like an attractive looking like piece of food. It's just like sa a sandwich. I'm going to slowly rotate it 360 degrees just in case any of your feeder fetishes out there and you really want to see this. Bro, it's a sandwich. <laughs> it's, it's a sandwich. I'm having a tuna sandwich. I put like a, always put a whole can of tuna. I eat a whole can. Wow. <laughs> and a green pepper cut up. I'm starting to really like them because I have so sure. many to go through. Sure. I'm starting to like them because I bought 400 of them. That that makes sense, right? You know, when you buy lots of stuff, you just suddenly like them. That, that is entirely like her and Amber and all these people's like diet idea. It's why I always joke about them going out. They say, oh, we're going to start a new diet. And they go out and they spend hundreds of dollars on diet stuff. Because in their head, they think if I buy it, I will just like it and I will just eat it. I don't want to waste them. And this is yeah. brand bread. Like bread, bro. Green brand, it's know, bread. Kind of yeah, stuff. it's bread. It's bread. Yeah, um, bread. Thanks. So before I eat this, I want to show you my weigh-in. I can't wait. Okay, so we're not actually going to see it. Fantastic. Thanks. <laughs> so we're just not even going to see it. So she is pretending she is down like a total of like twenty-five pounds in like a few days because this I don't know. This video is like six days old, something like that. So the middle of January, she went back at the start of January. She is pretending she has lost twenty-five pounds. Since going back to Kuwait, because obviously Kuwait is just a magical, magical kingdom. It's not like the evil West. She could just lose weight in Kuwait, even though she's done nothing but put on weight when, when she, after she went to Kuwait. But, you know, it's just magic, guys. And like, there's no change. No change, like, whatsoever. No change in, like, 25 points whatsoever. Take a bite of green pepper. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of cutting in this. I haven't done one of her mukbangs in a while. It's going to be a lot of cutting in this. Beauty bite, you need to eat your veggies, guys. I'm sorry, fucking what? The, the 450 pound woman just said to everyone, you guys, you guys out there, you guys need to eat your veggies. Like, not not me. I'm a health, health and fitness queen, as, as you can see. By me literally being so wide, I am the entire screen. Now, I mix my tuna with a bit of light mayo, yellow a mustard, bit, dill, pepper. There is, there is more tuna there than bread. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not really unhealthy or anything like that. Like, I'm not coming forward because I'm like, oh my God, it's so unhealthy. But, like, the biggest problem is with all these people who do all these, like, weight loss things and they're pretending they're losing so much weight, all that kind of shit, is it's like, okay, bro, you're showing me you eating, like, an entire tin of tuna in a sandwich, which is a bad sign already that even when you're on your diet, you can't restrict yourself to not eating literally an entire tin in one sandwich. But I know you're eating shite apart from this. Like, it's like, uh, it's like when Amber goes, like, hey, guys, look, and it eats, like, a carrot stick, and we're meant to be like, oh, my God, she's doing it, guys, she's lost all that. Because she thinks, we'll just think that, because she showed us her eating a carrot stick, we will we'll think she didn't eat anything else the entire day apart from the carrot stick. It's like, no, 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 I know you're eating other shit, because to maintain your current weight, you need to eat, like, 5,000 calories a day, so I'm going to not pretend that you're just eating a sandwich. Onion, garlic powder, and hot sauce. I'm extremely so, elated to share with you that I'm, my weigh-in. I'm was so weight. happy to pretend that I lost some weight, guys. 159.5 kgs. Yeah, sure. I believe you entirely. My my weigh-in at the doctor was 166.6. Yeah, that weigh-in where you're sitting holding the cap and you had your gut resting on that. Oh, that totally real weigh-in, guys. Oh yeah, I love with this one. She didn't even like pretend. She didn't even like put it down and show herself step up on it or anything like that. It literally was just like a still shot afterwards after her. 30 second attempt to try and make it look real. 
the last time I waited on camera. Where is he? Last week. I, I don't think I even. Sixty-one point something. I don't even think I saw that one. Now so. one fifty-nine point five. Sure, I believe you entirely. So not a huge loss, but I'm officially down like fifteen pounds. I talk like little bits about what I'm. No, doing. you talk little bits between bites. That's it. You don't to, <laughs> don't, don't, don't try and finish a the sentence there. You talk a little bit between bites because right now I'm just trying to patchwork together your sentences. Doing the lip gloss I was wearing, in case you're wondering. Lip, I, um, no one ever was. What no one looks at this thing and goes like, oh. If only I could recreate this. If only if only I could sit there and look more like this. Like one of the thumb guys from Spy Kids. If only I could pull off that look. Essence Extreme Shine and Volume. Really good lip gloss. Yeah, sure. And Essence is a very- Oh, remember when she bought a lip gloss? Was it lip gloss or lipstick ages ago? Which is called like Trophy Wife or something like that. And she solely bought it because I was like, she, she just pretended to marry Sal at that point. And she's like, Trophy Wife. Because I am one. And then everyone died. It was really weird. Everyone at the same time all across the world just died. And this is the hell that we've created for ourselves. Affordable brand. So, okay. So okay. I started being really serious oh, about... I can't, I can't wait for her to sit here and try and explain her incredible sudden weight loss that no one believes. Because it's the same thing as Amber explaining her sudden incredible weight loss that no one believes. It is always just like, I'm trying to eat better uh, and intermittent fasting and work out more. And it's like... Yes, that's usually how people lose weight. The problem is you just aren't. <laughs> consistent, not serious. Being consistent. I'm um, not being serious about it, I'm being consistent. With the way I've been eating what? and, you know, what I've been doing, which I'll get to in a sec. Oh, that's spicy hot sauce. Um, uh -huh. So I've been... Um, 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 I've been... In the journal too. I've been um, drawing um, out uh, my uh, uh, sentences. Okay. Oh my god, she is entirely. What the fuck? What the? So she is entirely only including this fake nonsense because she wanted to show that. And well, and this as well. Her, her, her fake pretend that she's going to a barbecue because they pretend that they have friends. Pack with my love. Do you know why everyone in the world knows? I don't need to explain to you guys why it's fake because we all know why it's fake. Because no one writes in their day planner. Oh, I, at 10 a.m., I need to pack with my love. <laughs> no, no one no one ever has written that. A 12-year-old girl doodling, like, hearts in, like, the corner of her page in school about the guy she has a crush on wouldn't even write this cringe shit. What I'm eating. That is so embarrassing. I mean, maybe she doesn't have seven. You know, like, those, like, clickbait YouTube ads? I mean, she doesn't have, like, 17 arrows just all pointing at this. And it's circled 17,000 times. <laughs> Um, so embarrassing. So I, 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 would, I, would, video, I would just I would just cry. I would just cry. I would just cry. Would it's too much. The video right before the I don't even listen to you. Well, sorry. Uh, was when I was starting to be more consistent and, you know, sure. binge free completely. Yeah, I was I, guys, right before I did my last binge, I was do, I, that's when I started. Right at the time when I did my last binge. Uh, so I think that was about the time. So it's been about a week or a little, just over a little bit of, uh, of a week, like a little over a week. At least and, get your story yeah. consistent, please. So, yeah. So, what so, I'm doing, um, basically, is... Um, <laughs> we can't, we can't even get through a sentence. You saw her, like, starting to shake. Like, she suddenly realized that she hadn't eaten in, like, 30 seconds. And she was, like, starting to vibrate out of panic. I've been journaling what I'm eating. I plan my, my day. I've been journaling what I've been eating and, you know, pretending to go to barbecues. And also pretending to pack with my love. What I'm going to eat. It's um, so... It's just... It's just so embarrassing. Look at look at her dead eyes. Look at her fucking dead eyes. She's so sad. Taking a bite out of that pepper. <laughs> like food is usually like pouring to her. So usually it's like the most excited you ever see her. It takes a bite out of a pepper. And it is just like, hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> just playing in the background. <laughs> I don't even I don't even remember what my original point was because I just looked across and saw this expression. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Let's just keep going. I don't count calories. Not really. The only calories I've counted were for those chicken strips, which I've been sure. eating almost every day. I know I said they were for Salah, but yeah. I know. I've and discovered you, that. And then you're too stupid and you got caught. I, I then I discovered, oh, oh, look, at, look, at the, look at this little liar here. I can still eat them in moderation and still lose weight. Can you? Just like you could eat the ramen noodles. Oh, wait, no, you didn't actually you broke your fasting and binged on. Oh, wait. I'm so, like, what? <laughs> it's one of those things where it's just always these people who claim that they have like binging disorder or food addiction or whatever. Just very suddenly just go like, oh, see that thing I usually do? I don't do that anymore. 
Yeah, I just don't. I just, I, I just, I just decided that I don't. So I, uh, uh, I don't. And then that's it. That you just meant to buy that. So. So. Oh, I mi I miss the like the way she uses so as like a comma. Like three meals and a snack. Sure, I believe you entirely. And usually the snack is like fruit, nuts, and dates. I love cashew, raw cashews with dates. Um. It's weird, you haven't had a single nut or a date since you've had salad. <laughs> a huge salad with some cheese. Yep, a huge salad like with that. huge cheese. Lots of cheese. Or just a bowl of tuna, just plain tuna. <laughs> yeah, sure, I believe you entirely. Um, just so a I bowl of tuna, you know, plain tuna, even though she just listed like the 17 different ingredients she put in this tuna just to make it edible. I believe that with, with, that with she wouldn't just eat that. She would just sit there and just eat a nice bowl of plain tuna because it's healthy for me, guys. Bro, you had to list, like, everything you put in this just to make you be able to eat this in a sandwich. So I don't think you're eating plain tuna with a spoon. Like a pretty big breakfast, which this is what I had for breakfast today. <laughs> like I said, every single time I see it, it gets worse. Now we've got rid of the eggs and we have chicken strips. <laughs> like every, every single time she shows us, it is gradually getting... I can't wait till next time it pulls back slightly and there's like a birthday cake beside it. <laughs> It feels nearly deliberate. It feels nearly deliberate that she is just doing this to troll us because uh, the chips keep getting more and we've not we've lost the egg. <laughs> we've killed chicken strips. Just like a mixed plate of things. I love having a variety of things in every uh, meal to keep myself very satiated. Very satiated. I love that someone once taught her that word and she's never gonna fucking drop it now. Now this um it satiates me. has a bit of everything as you see. It satiates me, and guys. The, this lunch. Say yes, me too. Usually my lunch is a little bit lighter because I have such a big breakfast. Sure, I believe you. Oh, I usually my lunch is a little bit lighter, guys, than a sandwich. What? <laughs> you see my... It's lighter than a sandwich. Okay. Do you know what, bro? Whatever role play you want to go with. This is why you, you can never believe them because they're always just so bad at lying. Now she has to be like, oh, actually, guys, well, you see, I, this is a very large lunch for me. And it's literally a sandwich with a fucking cut of bell pepper have dinner and i find that meals that have a bit of everything you know vegetable um good carbs protein vegetables good carbs is bread it's not, it's, I'm, I'm gonna say it's not really a good carb like it might be like like a, like a whole grain or something like that but it's still not like a good carb come on bro and fats which i guess would be the mayo in this case but i could have added <laughs> mayo. Or something like that i could have had some cheese honestly i'm surprised you didn't honestly if, i bet if you just lifted that fucking slice of bread. The slice of bread has been hollowed out and there's just like a block of cheese in there. Excuse me. Or maybe mixing avocado in with the tuna would be good. Yeah, sure. I believe you entirely. I'm very picky about avocados. <laughs> and they're very expensive. They're very expensive. I thought you were rich. You were just flexing a second ago. There's no guarantee that you're going to get a delicious one. <laughs> a good quality one. So. Well, there is if you actually leave the house. Like, I, I realized that she's like lost the ability to like leave the house apparently because the last time she did a grocery haul it was like ordered in stuff like she had it ordered in from two different shops like if you leave and actually go and like check the avocados when you buy you will like you will be able to get an avocado that is good anyway i don't have a very strict regime i'm just trying to not binge eat uh -huh. and i find that i don't get the cravings as much to binge eat yesterday <laughs> was pretty bad I mean, she hasn't brought up the Unamate you know, thing before, yet, which she was claiming was the reason she didn't previously binge. But just also the other... I, I, I'm sorry, just the hearsing going, I'm just trying not to binge. It's like, bro, we have done this entire storyline already. Like, in the last month. Can we just, like, skip this, please? It comes and goes. But if I keep myself satiated, that's, like, <laughs> the big word. That is it is. It's the big word that you learned, and you're so proud of yourself because you learned the word satiated. It's like, I'm never going to stop saying this. It's important. You have to eat well rounded <laughs> meals and you have to be, be sure. You have to eat satiating meals, guys. Enough. And every <laughs> so few hours in order to keep the binge urges away. Um, I love that she is like also doing that weird thing that Amberlyn does where they're acting like their binges are solely based on like their like hunger. But it's like it's it's not. Like uh, most people who like have like a binge eating disorder or like whatever, they're like emotional eaters. You know, it, it, it's like an emotional eating thing. And she has been like genuinely miserable recently, but she's trying to act like, I just guess the cheating thing never happened because the second she got back to Q8, she has just acted like literally shrug, never happened, guys. I don't even know what you're talking about. Are you, Kai Bella? I don't know. Never even, poo? Don't eat, I don't even poo. Salad doesn't even poo. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Like, it's like, she's just trying to act like she's in like a totally fine spot. 
But like your binging is going to happen because you're not in a totally fine spot. It's like an emotional response. That's what the addiction part of it is. It's not just because you kind of feel a wee bit hungry. So her saying going like, well, every if I eat a sandwich at lunch, that means I won't binge because I'm satiated. It's like, that's not, that's not what that is. At least I fight for myself, personally speaking. No, well, it's, it's not because like last time you did all this fucking nonsense, you randomly just said at 3 a.m. I got up and made myself noodles. So like, you're just lying. So I've been going out. For the past few days anyway and walking a couple of hours every day walking around and i don't notice that i'm really doing it as much because because i'm lying to you guys i'm pretending this happens where you have to walk a lot but at the same time you're doing something entertaining like going to a like going to what like it's so weird that she's acting so brand new with this which is like guys i, I haven't even noticed because i'm going somewhere and like, like going to a mall it's like yeah like 17 of your other videos like, half of her walking videos or half of her couple videos are her going to malls. Like, both in Thailand and in Kuwait when she first went over. How many videos of them are just her walking around malls? Like, she's acting like this is a brand new thing she's just discovered, guys. It's like, but that's not true because, like, this has been your entire content for over a year now. Mall, going to a park or something like that, you know? She, during one of the videos, said that she finds walking boring. And now she's trying to pretend, oh, I actually don't even notice I'm walking because it's so entertaining, just kind of walking around a park. I was like, but there's nothing to do or see in the park. She's just walking. Like, she walked from bench to bench to bench in, like, most of the park videos. Like, she's, it's not like she's doing anything like fun. It's not like the parks have, like, murals and, like, events going on or anything. Like if you went to, like, I don't know, like, when me, when me and my family were over in Japan last time, there was a Matsuri going on in one of the parks that we went to. We didn't know. We just showed up. Matsuri is a festival. And it has lots of, like, festival stalls and games and stuff like that. And we ended up just kind of, like, strolling through. We just kind of stumbled upon our order. And you can walk around for hours because there's lots of things to see. Lots of stalls to visit. Like, events going on. Little parades and stuff like that. There's fireworks. You know, you're kind of walking around seeing lots of stuff. She's just walking around a park. Which is, like, what most people do for, like, exercise. But she's trying to make it sound like, oh my god, guys, I just discovered a crazy new thing called parks. And it's like, everyone knows parks exist. They're just boring. <laughs> this is what everyone already feels. <laughs> just the awkward chewing and staring into the camera being, oh, you guys you wanna see? Do you wanna see this? Do you wanna see the sandwich more? <laughs> what the fuck? Like it's just so weird. It's like a sandwich, bro. Like I said, it's not like it's not like a, um, an amazingly made cake with seventeen different layers or a trifle with forty two layers or something like that. It's like totally see this out of my sandwich. It's like, nah, bro, I'm good, thanks. Oh my god, that hurt. It's just so. Goofy. So it's really just about going back to basics, you know, like yeah, again, very simple. For the forty-second time, bro. Um, you know how they show you like the food pyramid and, and the dinner plate and what, like, how you should divide up your food groups on there. Bro, the thing is, you don't even need to do that. <laughs> like she, she can eat three thousand calories a day and she'd still lose weight. She doesn't even do that. She can genuinely have like a binge a day and she'd still be fucking fine, just because her body takes so many calories. She just exists at four hundred and fifty pounds. So her thing goes, guys. I just, I've had to relearn the food permit. You know what, bro? Whatever keeps you up at night. I follow it like mostly in the sense that I have a bit of everything. This is the seventeenth time she said that this video. Is that she and has a bit really of everything. Want... It is so dull. I am so Look, close to so skipping okay. everything. I Where... had a craving the other night for like chocolate. Yeah, do you know what? I'm sure you have a craving every single nanosecond of every single day. I'm, I, where, where on the food <laughs> pyramid cookies sit? Put your cookies really bad. Uh -huh. so I had two with some tea and that's that was enough, you know? I had two dozen packs. <laughs> okay, foodie. I'm glad you could just stop your binging because yeah, I, I just did. I just did. I decided to have some cookies, and I just did. And I didn't, you know, I had cravings for them, and I just, I just allowed myself to have two, and I didn't binge or anything like that. It's like, oh, fuck. Magic that you just suddenly have perfect self-control. I'm so bored of this video. Now, let's go. After I ate them, I felt a little bit of panic, which is normal for me. That's usually what triggers triggers a binge, is that negative feeling about those cookies. Like, like, oh no, these cookies are bad for me, and I had two. And then I feel guilty, and I'm like, I should just eat the whole box and start over tomorrow. So it takes a lot of mental work for me to talk myself down and say, you had two cookies. 
That's definitely not the same as eating the whole box. These cookies are not bad. See, I'm, I was just kind of letting that go because I was sitting here the whole time debating if I should just skip this part because it's just like so stupid because it, it just goes against everything she has previously just said about how the re way she starts her binging is just by being satiated and by eating like a sandwich. <laughs> and now she explained that actually her binge eating and food addiction is, is not at all to do with any of that. It is purely just her thought processes and her emotions. And it's like, how do you go through the first... 10 minutes of this, just lying repeatedly. And then you finally just say this, but your excuse is, and then I just chose not to binge. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really bored. We are going to start skipping here. By the way, I forgot to say in my vlog about the mall, if you haven't watched that video, if you haven't watched that video, check it out. Um, I do like two hours of walking at like a beautiful mall. No, you don't. And it's okay, firstly, it is just like the most like standard looking mall that has ever existed ever. So stop trying to be, it's like the most beautiful, mall. It, it is, it is, it is, it's, Less attractive than the Icon Siam. Was that what it was called? The one in Thailand they went to? It is less impressive than that. I get it. I get it. You're just pretending everything in Kuwait is literally magic. And it's the greatest thing ever because it's not the evil West. I, I, I get it. It's really embarrassing. I get it entirely, though. But it was not that nice. It was just a mall, bro. It was just a fucking mall. But she decided to do some, like, weird-ass comparison piece where she was trying to show where the fuck even is it. Holy shit. When was it? It, feel, it feels like it wasn't that long ago, but I guess it was like forever ago. I'll just skip to find it. Video oh, this. Like... Here it goes. Okay, so she does like a side-by-side -side comparison piece to try and show how much weight she's lost. And it is like this, yes. this. It's like, bro, <laughs> it's the same day. <laughs> it's the same day. You're wearing the same. She's trying to show, look how much weight I've lost between these two pictures. It's the same day, bro. <laughs> I got I can't, I can't believe it that she's actually thinking anyone's gonna fucking fall for this. It, we, could, we could even tell, like you shouldn't do it in front of your new couches because we know that picture was taken within the last couple of fucking days. And now you're still wearing the exact same thing, the exact same style. Terrible, like I would be embarrassed. I would be embarrassed that I think I would fool anyone with this shit. The weekends here in Kuwait are considered to be Friday and Saturday. So Sunday is considered a week. Oh, okay. So she's had to come and clarify this because a couple of people came out and confirmed to me. It's like, oh no, it is Friday and Saturday for the weekend because I made a point that the weekend was Sunday because that's the standard weekend for like us and for her. It feels so weird that she didn't mention it at the time because that's like one thing she could finally actually try and teach people. And she didn't include it. And now because everyone laughed at her, she had us to come out and clarify now that actually the weekend is Friday and Saturday. It's like, oh, thanks, bro. You know, so when I'm trying to film a video, I know a lot of you are like, there's never anyone around. It's like, I purposely seek out places like that um, on certain days, certain times on purpose. so that I Yeah, which is depressing. And it's terrible. Like, it, 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 I'm sorry, it is awful. If I ever, like, watch a guy, like, do, like, a walk around, I don't know, Vietnam, or he was walk around, like, China or Japan or something, like, somewhere I'm tempted to visit soon. And they show me a place and it's totally empty. I'm just like, oh, I wonder why it's totally empty. That's kind of not fun. I like seeing places when they're busy. I really do. Especially when they're like at their busiest because you can kind of like judge. Ju like judge, how should I visit this? When should I visit it? Where should I go? When she just like purposely goes and like finds like empty restaurants and all, it doesn't give you like a real experience of what you're actually going to see there. can show you more and be more comfortable filming without like... But you don't, the big, also the biggest problem is you don't show us anything. That's why I say you are a terrible travel vlogger because you don't show us anything. She doesn't like the one thing she pointed out in like the entire mall was like, fuck, I don't know, those heart sit statues. And she just pointed those out so she could pose at them over and over and over again. I don't remember a single store that she showed apart from, I guess, Ikea. They walked into Ikea to say, oh, we're going to look around Ikea. And that was it. And then they cut like straight afterwards to get coffee. Like that was it. It wasn't like she was walking around showing the stalls, showing the different places you can go, the different, like, I don't know, events they might hold in the mall or the different views or, I don't know, where the car, anything like that. It was just like, I'm going to slowly walk down here, I'm going to get a coffee, and then I'm going to go and sit outside and just point because there's some docks over there. That's it. People looking at me. Um. So tell me you're not ashamed. Remember this is the woman who said that she's not ashamed uh, whatsoever and she does it doesn't get embarrassed in public and I mean she's like oh, I don't want people looking at me. It's better to go on a weekday if you want it to be dead because otherwise the weekend is so busy people. I, okay firstly she just sounds stupid. I'm just I'm, I'm gonna skip to here because she just sounds stupid because she pretty much was complaining it's like why would anyone want to go places that are busy it's like uh, a lot of people do because a lot of people like interacting with the locals they like seeing people in their natural environment a lot of people like people watching 
Like, there are some people who just like to go to a cafe and sit down and just people watch. They would love to sit down in that cafe, in the, that mall, and just watch and just look around the place and see different people walking around. And I also don't think she realizes just how stupid she sounds when she has to tell you guys that it's like, guy, if you go on the weekdays, it's quieter in the mall. It's like, yes, just like every shop that's ever existed. Like if I go to Tesco's, it would be quieter if it was a Monday than if it was a Saturday. It's like, yes, that is, this is how shots work. It's, <laughs> it's so weird that she thinks she's like telling us something new by coming out and saying this. It's like, yeah, we probably, you know, we actually leave our houses occasionally. I don't have chips, but if I did, I would have a small handful with a sandwich, no problem. What a weird statement to just suddenly say out of nowhere. If I had some chips, I could have some. I don't want to be a small handful. It's like, where did that come from? Just tell me you're not enjoying this meal because he's barely touched the peppers, like whatsoever. Tell me you're not enjoying your meal if you're just fantasizing about if you could have a handful of chips alongside your sandwich instead. Sleep moderation is the key to everything in life or temperance uh -huh. is what they bro you're 450 pounds sit down <laughs> actually people uh, make sure you take notes here moderation is the key to life 450 pound woman just informed you of that dude like you're the worst person in the world to try and give any form of advice on anything can we just not I have attempted things many times, but I honestly many feel times. the most optimistic a million times. this time because... You, you, didn't you also say that like two months ago before you failed? Just seeing my stamina get to a new level and... I love like, like... Weirdos like this just seem to think that like stamina is like one of those things that just like improves overnight. Well, wow, see my stamina get to this level, guys. It's like, why? I went out walking three times. It's like... What? Yeah, I went walking three times. It's like... How the fuck would that improve your stamina? It's walking three times for like 15 minutes at a time. Bro, like what? <laughs> this is why you know like her and Amber have no idea what they're talking about when they talk about stamina because they think it is just something where it's like if you go for a jog, like the next time you're like sprinting, you know? Okay, I guess we're just going to finish here because like she's going to chew for the next 10 seconds. Uh, yeah, really, really per video. I just guess we're going to go straight into the next one. The walk-in, it's so weird that the walk-in videos were so much more entertaining than this because there wasn't, like, a huge amount to talk about. When something happened, it was, like, funny as opposed to, like, a 15-minute video of, like, a 450-pound woman going, like, mm, guys, yes, this diet, this will be the one that works because it's just going to work because I went for a walk yesterday and that means I can basically do a marathon tomorrow. So, yes, guys, and you guys really need to learn about your eating standards and how to fix yourselves. And it's just like, bro, what the fuck? Okay, guys, that's us back here with the Taco Bell cheat meal. <sighs> this looks beautiful. It's only got a slightly larger amount of cheese than her usual meals. Uh, you know what the thing is? This is slowly just looking like the breakfast she's having anyway. It is just flatbread with cheese and, and chips. So it actually does look like just her normal breakfast now. Uh, I know I've already seen people, because I saw like screenshots is coming out, obviously people pointing out that Taco Bell goes against her boycott, the Pepsi goes against her boycott, everything. Do you guys honestly think she even pretends to give a shit? She is about to give up being a pretend Muslim because Salah wanted to poop on people. I, th I, th I think we're okay just ignoring the entire boycott now. I don't know why she looks so awful today like she genuinely looks really really bad like i don't it, I, I don't know if it's a filter issue or something like that but she genuinely looks terrible right now Hello, guys. Like, right. look at her Set she up. looks Montage. awful Excellent. like look at this like i I, she, I don't know if she is because she looks mental like her mouth is misaligned her eyes are obviously misaligned yet again like her makeup is also just like terribly done because this one's like quite a low dip and this one's quite a high dip at the end i, I don't I, I don't know she just looks absolutely rough Excellent. Let's go. So, I was feeling a bit too skinny, so she I is, <laughs> Yeah, okay. She is the human personification of her own cheat meal in her face. <laughs> oh, it's a cheat meal. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Um, I'm having talk. So, this is, like... Because I, I think this is, like, the one with the thumbnail. It says, like... Because um, I did, did just look at it. But I'm pretty sure it says something like... Like, losing weight for a man... And I th I've heard this is a bit of a rage stream because she's unhappy that people are saying that her, her weight loss was purely for a man, which it obviously was. Like, it, it just was. When she was pretending she had, like, super diabetes, she was going to die last year. Like, she didn't put nearly as much effort in. But then suddenly, when she found out that her husband is 100% not interested in her because of how, how heavy she is, suddenly she wanted to desperately lose weight. So, yes, it's pretty obvious she were trying to lose weight for a man. I'm assuming that, like, I decided I was too skinny. It's just to try and troll people. Cobella Tuesday for my... Cobella Tuesday? Yes. Kybella Tuesday, uh, oh no. I don't really want to call it like a cheat meal, 
Oh, I saw some funny ass comment. I wonder if it's still there because obviously she goes through and nukes comments. But I wonder if it's still there. It was a comment because I saw it screenshotted. Someone was sharing it around on Twitter. Like, probably not long after this came out, so the comment no longer exists. But someone said something like, "That looks like constipation on a plate." Um, because it's so much cheese, it would probably block it. And she goes, mm, unfortunately, no, the exact opposite. And someone just commented underneath and says, I bet Sal loved it. <laughs> it's a meal I feel like having, and I'll just eat accordingly, like, yeah, sure, we believe you. Day. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about... Yeah, 450 people generally, like, you know, they, they, gen they, they generally have good, like, personal restraint, so they won't eat, eat for the rest of the day. Or make excuses for what I'm eating. I just want to eat it. We well, just did, but okay. So, sure. You know, if you want to watch me uh, have dinner, fine. If not, uh -huh. fine. God, she is so <laughs> angry Anyways, already. Um, Calm down. Come on, yeah, Chantel. So having this is their double quesadilla meal. This is yep, double noticed. quesadilla. Yeah, no, this is just them serving normal portions because they're cheap as is. Or yep. you're, uh, you know, binging. Uh, you know, again. Normally, I guess if they like, if this is double, they only give you this. I can't believe that she got this just so she can like. <laughs> she has like a dining table over in the corner. We saw the dining table. She had like cut tucked down here, but the dining table not good enough. We have to have the Thailand little mukbang table on top of the dining table. Normally, no. <laughs> Obviously, so she can hide her extra food under this, so she can eat it afterwards. Because she right. does keep Pizza looking underneath diet it. For Pepsi Max. Yeah, the I. Only diet they had. Sure, bro. I believe the entire. Oh my god! Do you want to eat chips Thank with you your said. ketchup? And I have yogurt instead of sour cream. Uh huh. Yeah. So okay. I'm, just make I'm so healthy, guys. This like this. Ugh. My god. You gotta have some kind of sour white substance on. This is the woman in the last mukbang was talking about like proportionality and like temperance, guys. She was the one talking about how like oh I think I probably cut. well I ended up cutting that out because I was so bored of that point in the video. She was talking about temperance about how like you pretty much just have to eat eat like um like. A little bit of this, just a little bit of that. You know, we've got to work off the food pyramid, guys. You have to control yourself when you're eating and not have too much. And then she's just like smearing just yogurt over her entire quesadilla. <laughs> yogurt, sour cream, whatever. Look at it. Look how much she's Anyways, putting on. Uh, let's get this set Holy up here. shit. Like, you wouldn't even be able to chase the, hey, the quesadilla hey. at that point. Like, what's the point of having the quesadilla? This is why you know she's like a binger because like most people would be like, I'm going to have a small amount because I want to be able to still taste the quesadilla. And she's like, no, I'm just literally going to smear the entire thing so you can't even see the quesadilla through it. Bismillah. That's why she's a binger. Bismillah, uh, we, we already licked the fork first, so technically you're late saying that. Hot sauce. No, she's just going to eat the packet. She's not going to open it. She's just going to eat it straight. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is like her worshipping here. Like, she has, like, a routine, you know? This is, like, a well-practiced routine. <laughs> and we're good to go. Have you, are you sure? I, have you got two All more right, packets there? You've okay. got two more packets there. They're going to get open before the end of this, I guarantee you. <laughs> this is why I laugh. Because, you know, when she was eating, like, the, the peppers in the last one, she was, like, just sitting there just looking like death warmed over. But now she's, like, doing her full eye roll when she's putting the chips in her mouth. Hmm. I'm wearing matte lipstick. Let's hope it doesn't smear. All right. All right. I want to talk. All right. Fuck. Let's get done. She sounds so annoyed. I can't wait for the rant. Talk about. Like I just. Okay, guys. Let's talk. <laughs> she doesn't even get to finish her word before it goes in. Look at this fucking face. Mm, yum. Oh, did sorry, did, love. Did that not have enough on it? Okay. I want to talk about Jesus Christ. That, um... She's so annoyed. <laughs> She's trying to laugh to cover it up. Oh, she is just so unattractive. I don't know why. Like I said, you know, every once in a while, like she does, like the these videos, which are like you know, kind of clearly targeted more towards me. Even compared to, like the the tuna one, which is just like more of like what I would say is traditional. Movie. This is like kind of more feedery because she's like actually like trying to have like the red sultry lipstick and all on. I, I, I don't know. She just looks so much worse when she tries to look better, if you understand what I mean in any way. But she's already doing, like, the little giggling and laughing. Like, she's already like, yeah, this doesn't even bother me, guys. I can't wait. <laughs> you seem to be confusing me with someone else. In person? <laughs> the whole notion. I've seen comments from people commenting on my video. This gives, like, the same attitude of when, like, at the start, when people were, like, laughing at her for randomly putting on the hijab. And she was like, you seem to be confusing with someone else. Because uh, did you actually not realize about hijabs that actually uh, Mary, Mother of God, actually a war one? That kind of shit. Where it's like... You're trying, like, you're trying too hard to not seem bothered. That's the biggest issue here. The only reason... 
You want to get healthy. Huh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> At some point, I'll finish a, a, a sentence, I'm sure of it, guys. Now, I'm losing weight now. Uh huh. It's because she also wants to shit on someone else's chest. Like ulterior motive. Uh huh. That's negative. There can't be anything yeah. ever positive in my life, right? Well, it's because there's nothing is positive in your life. Because... Mom, point to me on the doll where something's positive in your life. <laughs> what would we ever describe in Seantel's life as being a positive thing? Like anything. Like ever. Even going to Thailand wasn't positive. My favorite thing ever is when people called it as clearly uh, like a visa run. She's like, no, it's not. But but uh, uh, anyway, even even if it is, I, I'm still uh, winning. <laughs> because she still has to be like, she knows no one believes her, but she still has to argue both sides at the same time. So she wins either way. Because of the fact. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I'm sorry, she's trying so hard to seem not bothered that it just exudes. It's like when people, like, argue, I don't, I, I don't care, but, and then they type, like, a 6,000 word essay about why you're wrong. You don't want to be cheated on. Well, you don't, but, like, that's, like, obvious. You want your man to be attracted to you. I love she tried to pretend this whole thing didn't happen, but she got so triggered that she had to do is, I'm not bothered, by the way, but also fuck you guys. <laughs> okay, number one. When you say things like this... Oh my fucking god. When you say things like this, what, eating chips? You're basically saying that nobody overweight or fat... Or f over or overweight or fat, either one of the two. Obese, whatever. Or obese, whatever, all any of the three. Can be loved, or somebody can't be attracted to them. Well, you. Specifically, you. Like, you, you, you. Like, the arrow points at you. <laughs> Remember, like, Foodie Beauty did that whole, whole like overweight obese or fat because like she considers herself like overweight she can, has called herself like chubby before she's considered herself like just a bit fat before she considers people who like shit on her to be like as big as her when she is like 450 pounds the people who shit on her are like 300 pounds but she considers them to be exactly the same level of fatness because she just has this weird delusion in her head that if she just tells herself over and over again no i'm only 350 pounds that eventually just everyone else will believe it as well it's like no no you. You're a bit different than a girl who's like a bit overweight, who's like 30 pounds, 40 pounds overweight. You're in entirely different. You're also just like an awful person, so that kind of factors in. Jesus Christ. How many of you are overweight that are watching this video? Comment below. No, well, I don't have to. Calm, love. I don't have to comment then. <laughs> I don't, have, I don't have to comment. Like she, she, like I said, she's just going for this like, weird delusion that she is on the same level of like attractiveness or like desirability as like someone who made like 30 pounds overweight. Comment below. And also isn't like her, like a terrible, <laughs> terrible person. <laughs> I, ho I hope you find your point amongst those chips. Ketchup! Yeah. There's ketchup, guys! <laughs> The fake laugh before her face immediately changes to that. Like I said, she's trying too hard to be like, I'm so unbothered by these rumors. Alright, so that is BS right there. You didn't even Number address two. a point. You made up a point and then didn't even address it. What? <laughs> My husband. And two. Uh, <laughs> the window shutdown noise just fucking played there. Met me. Who? And I was fat. Yeah? And you've never had sex. <laughs> I wonder what, like, lie Salah tells her to, like, give them a reason why they've never had sex. Do you think he said, like, I'm a virgin and I want to save it till we're actually married or something? Like, oh, what reason do you think Salah gives to never boot her? Like, I, I love she's just sitting there pulling faces at the camera being like, mm, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Like, I just won the argument. And it's like, you haven't even had a point yet. <laughs> yeah, you can't win the argument. You haven't had a point yet. Bro, no one even thinks it's real. When you just say, my husband. And everyone just hears fake husband. Every, everyone just hears that. Like, you can always just substitute husband for fake husband. Like, no one believes it. So just trying to say, oh, he's my husband, doesn't win the argument because no one believes it. That's the biggest problem. Being on video before we met in person. Uh-huh. The video apparently adds pounds. No, it doesn't. So, <laughs> this is the woman whose entire existence is based on filter, so much so that her face is literally lopsided. On video for hours and hours a day, he would know how fat I am. Yeah, but you, you've never had sex. You're not married. The se second you weren't there, like, constantly bothering him, he instantly cheated on you. He literally cheated on you within a day of you leaving Kuwait. Like, what? <laughs> is, is she unaware this is not an argument? Third, the person he was talking to was also fat. 
I, 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 you know what? I've never seen Kybella. I just haven't. I, because uh, I don't care. That's not really something I'm overly, overly interested in. I didn't even know they'd appeared on camera or anything like that. Um, were they 450 pounds and five foot? Well, and it can, anyone confirm that? Was Kybella 450 pounds and five foot tall as well? Because, like, Foodie, like I said, has this weird thing where she seems to think that her and a girl who's 30 pounds overweight are, like, on the same level of attractiveness. So. So, you're just expecting her to, like, finger snap and, like, smirk at the camera. And it's like, bro. <laughs> like, you're, you're seriously sitting trying to gloat. It's like, well, the, the guy, like, uh, the, the woman that my husband cheated on me with, with instantly the second I left Q8 was also kind of chubby. It's like... <laughs> Imagine thinking that was like a burn or an own or supported you in any way. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least. And last, certainly not least. I'm a terrible person. I mean, shit, I'm Cat Hitler. I mean, shit. What in the actual... <laughs> I love that she clearly didn't think this like before she started because her points have been so bad. Like, if you thought about this in any way, I'm sure you could have at least thought of something. Anything as an argument, but she is like using eating chips as like a pause method to try and think of an argument. <laughs> and yes, I'm fully aware she is like you guys won't see it because I obviously could, right? But she is eating like as gross as possible this one, as if she's trying to prove a point. Why would I stay married to someone? Because you're desperate. I don't even. I don't even. You can full stop. I. I don't even need to hear the rest of whatever argument you're about to say, because you're desperate. Because you can sit there and keep going, my husband, my husband, just because you can do that. That is why, like, no one believes that you're even married. No one believes you even had sex. No one believes you even lived together. Like, all of those points, in my opinion, are worse than the fact that he was caught cheating on you. Like, again, because people have already argued the Red Room, the stuff in Thailand, everything like that. So people have already suspected he's been cheating on you numerous times before. So this isn't even like the final nail in the coffin kind of thing. No one believes anything about it. That's how desperate you are, is that you're just so desperate for any form of win that even immediately after the cheating thing, you took him back literally within an hour because you wanted to slam dunk on the hater and your entire argument afterwards was that Kybella was like ugly. That was that was just your entire argument afterwards. It was not no, no, nothing Salah related. He's absolutely fine. There is no issue with him whatsoever. It is everyone else's fault because you're so incredibly desperate. That's why I said I don't need the rest of your sentence. Who isn't attracted to me or doesn't love me? Because he's never had sex with you. Because of my weight. Yeah. Because you're a mark. Like, when? What was the point? Hear me out, people. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I just saved. Feeling that way? <laughs> look, yeah, look on the ceiling. Hopefully, hopefully there's a fucking post it note up there with your fucking point. <laughs> She's so bad at this. Why is she so bad at this? Then. Surely the number of times she's had like these rage posts and gotten upset by people online and for the amount of time people shit talked her online You would think at some point she would have been able to even have a shower thought Sorry, I realize guys there's already six comments saying it. I realize that requires her to actually have a shower I understand entirely guys. You would think at some point though She would have had like you know when you argue with yourself sometimes you're like oh god He said that. I mean I should have said that you know we usually do that to yourself every once in a while why has she not been able to do that? Or is this actually, after like months of training, this is the best she has? You need to find someone who does like you for your size. If you're good and but bad, no one likes you. Everything. But no one likes what you. What happened has nothing to do with my weight. But no one likes her. Her argument of I could just leave and find someone who like who, who likes me for my size, but no one likes you. Like her, her, her like she went from Pete to BB, BB who absolutely hated hated her. Pete who genuinely would fuck like a garden gnome if you put a oni hole in it. And then to, like, Natter after, like, oh, what, was it a two-year dry spell? She got with Natter and literally obsessed with him because he was finally a guy that would actually sleep with her. So much so that she still even brings him up. The second she had an issue with Salah through this whole cheating thing, she instantly started talking about Natter again. That is how obsessed with Natter she is because he's the only person who's ever actually, in my opinion, actually slept with her. I don't think, I don't think Pete's is capable of sleeping with someone. I don't think Baby ever fucking went near that. That's why. Because no one actually wants you. Because after Natter, you had to keep making up all these fake people to try and make him jealous. And in the second Sal attacks you, you instantly flew to Kuwait the Mariam. You did? I could easily find someone who appreciates me. No, you couldn't. Then do it. 
never they did. mistake that. Well, I, I don't need a mistake. I've seen literal proof of it. I've seen literal proof of your dry spot. I don't, I don't need to speculate. <laughs> she looks at this fucking case of day <laughs> with more romance in her eyes than she has ever looked at Salah. Like this is this is the evidence I need of why you and Salah aren't a real couple. There's more chance you fucking that case of day than you fucking Salah. <laughs> Like I said, and also that quesadilla has actually been in her, her, her mouth. Salah never has been. There has been four bites of that quesadilla since I last paused. There have been like four bites of it because she is desperately just trying to think of what to say next. And like there is like 14 minutes left to go in this video. So I suspect we're probably going to start skipping a lot here soon because like, like we're eight and a half minutes in. Usually the start of the video is when the most, most of the actual arguing comes. Let's get going. I think saying things like, you should get in shape for your man, you know? You should do this to keep up in your, in your relationship. No, you need to do things for yourself. You don't change for any man. You don't change for anyone. You change for- I'm sorry. I was prepared to just let this entire bit go because I was going to- Oh, I'll just sum this up quickly afterwards because whatever. Bro, she is literally sitting there pretending to be a Muslim in Kuwait. <laughs> Wearing a hijab and a baya. She, she's pretending that she's like a devout Muslim who's learning Arabic. Still can only name four things. And each of those four is a different type of bread. That And this is the that is extent of her cultural knowledge. But she is like the evil, disgusting West. Boycott anyone who supports Israel. Just death to the Jews. All that kind of shit. That is her as a person now. But but no, guys. Why would you ever change? Why, why would you lose weight for a man? No. A woman should only ever change for herself. This thing, this thing is the one telling you, you should only change for yourself. Okay, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? For yourself. <laughs> because if you really love someone, you're not going to really love them if they change. That's not love. Yeah, but he never knew you before that. She's a fucking idiot. <laughs> It doesn't even make any sense. He, like, he, would, he would love you before you change. He never knew you before you changed. The second you start talking to him, this was, it was literally like that meme. Where it's like someone reads the newspaper and then it like fades to them like as Hitler reading the newspaper. That was her overnight when she started speaking to Salah. Again, that's basically saying nobody who's like overweight is deserving of love. If they have weight issues, if they have problems, if they're not perfect, if they're not running, if they're not super fit. What? I love she could like puts 450 pounds on the same level as super fit. Like there's no middle room. There's no middle room. We're on a one-two scale, and one is super fit, and two is super morally obese. She thinks that that, that is like the scale like everyone actually works off in this universe, and not she is a 450 pound person who is like abusive to animals, who is like a general terrible person, who like used to gloat about making lots of money, and now like literally makes nothing, has to eat herself to death on camera for any form of attention. But no, guys, I'm basically on par with like, I don't know, like a 110 pound woman. Who, who, who makes lots of money online is just a generally nice person. We're basically the same, guys. I love how quickly she stopped using the fork. As she got more and more annoyed, she stopped using the fork. It's not just using her hands to eat the chips. <laughs> like I said, I think we're going to start skipping. A lot of this is just awkward sounds now because she has nothing. She didn't have anything to start with. She now has absolutely nothing. She hasn't spoken in about a minute and a half now, so I can't wait. Let's see. Let's see what's about to come. Dumbest, dumbest comments. From <laughs> she seriously sat there coping for a minute and a half, stuffing her face, and now she's just like, oh, comments. Uh, reaction channel saying, well, maybe you should have been aware, like, you let yourself go. Maybe that's why he cheated. Didn't let herself go. She's always been this bad. I don't think anyone's ever said, you let yourself go. Maybe that's why he cheated. No, no reaction channel thinks you're with him. So I don't know who the fuck you're listening to. Coming from reactors who look like this. Okay. Have you got enough pixels there, love? So just FFJ? So just FFJ? So just... I'm sorry, I love this, like, who look like this. And then cut to this. Like that was a slam dunk. When she has actually lost her knuckles. Like, 1-800-FIND-MY-KNUCKLES. 1-800-FIND-MY-WRIST. She is just a solid lump of fat at this fucking point. But no, guys, who look like this. <laughs> it's like, I'm just saying, FFG, solely apparently FFG is the only reactor who exists. FFG not being super bangable does not mean you are suddenly actually bangable. Like, like, do you realize that? It's like I said, the one-two scale thing. She's just like, well, everyone in the world is either her or FFG, apparently, in her head. Hmm. 
Interesting. I look better than you. No, you don't. So, you don't. Well, what you're saying is that you don't. Bro, you don't. Like, and I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say, like I said, FFG is not bangable either. I'm not saying FFG is like something like a 17 out of 10 or something like that. But Foodie is not more attractive than FFG. Like, like okay, you might argue a difference between like a 1 and a 1.1. You know, I'm not, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, neither, neither of them are attractive to me. But like, f f this is like I said about Foodie's delusion, where she thinks that she's on par with like women who are like, 30 pounds overweight. This is just Foodie's delusion. Also, I'm going to argue that, like, personality, like, plays in a lot of things. Like, she is the one who's made this, like, solely, like, a looks thing. Whilst most people who react to her aren't reacting to Foodie because she's ugly. Most people aren't reacting to Foodie because she's fat. Because there's people who are fatter, and there are people who are uglier online. Like, uglier thing is harder to find, but don't worry, guys. I'm sure we could find if we really went looking there. It's because she's, like, a combination of super fat, super ugly, super awful as a person. She is like the holy trinity of all three of those put together, but with like an unbelievable smugness that she thinks she is also none of those at the same time, which was just evidence there. <laughs> Can't find one either. I mean, like, it's it's ridiculous. So, nobody knows the true dynamic of our relationship. That's because it doesn't have one. And you never will. Yeah, because it doesn't have one. It's our business. One mistake doesn't define our entire relationship, but this is like the fourth time. <laughs> this is like the third or fourth time this has happened. So what are you talking about? One mistake doesn't define our relationship. I think the second you like leave and the set like the second you leave, uh, he immediately starts cheating. I think that is actually like do you know it really does define your entire relationship. If like me and my girlfriend went to a bar and we're dancing, ooh, having a good time, having a couple wee drinks. You know, and I'm like, one second, baby girl, I need to go to the toilet. And I walk to the toilet and I come back and she is fucking a guy on the bar. That might define our relationship if it was that quick to cheat on me. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, you know what? Might actually define your relationship if the relationship was even real. Spoiler, it actually isn't. Faithful, it's about them. Or a different issue. <laughs> it's about them. Or a different issue. She had to quickly add the different issue thing because if she says them, then it's like, oh shit, that's to do with Salah. Uh, or it could be to do with you as well. I, I, I'm like, I'm have to admit, I'm like totally opposed to cheating in any form. I, I don't agree with it. I don't like it or anything like that. I don't really agree agree with cheating. Um, so like, I, I'm certainly not like sticking up for Salah, but like, I'm sure there are reasons for like some people to cheat that is not solely their fault or their issue. I'm sure that sometimes both parties may be at fault if one side cheats. Like I said, I'm, I'm you know, I'm totally opposed to it. Not like I'm sticking up for anyone here. I think Sal is fucking idiotic, but like, come on. I, I her, her just trying to be like, it's nothing to do with me whatsoever. I'm basically the best catch ever. It's fucking dumb. For example, when I was unfaithful, in she, my past relationship. She I keeps never. saying this. Past relationship. She says past relationship like singular. However, from my memory, Amelia, like a lot of her stories are made up. Like, she has re like, reported that she has cheated numerous times. She's cheated on BB several times, I think. Pete several times, I think. She cheated with like some Moroccan guy with BB or something. And they fought. I I'm trying to remember because, like I said, she said a lot of stories. I, I'm sticking like firmly to my guns that she has never had sex before Natter, so I don't actually believe that she cheated all these times with all these. Like her cheating and her talking about cheating previously, in my opinion, was solely to try and flex that she has sex. You know, like right now she's trying to flex that she has just such like, a strong relationship despite everything that literally happened two weeks ago. In my opinion, her talking about cheating previously was just to try and make it sound like she has sex all the time. Like how many times did she claim that she just randomly fucked random people on nights out or randomly had like threesomes and stuff like that? Generally like quite like, ooh, very raunchy. Not even a lot of people usually have that, that experience. Like she is going for that to try and be like, look how sexually free I am. I might be fat and ugly, but I have sex all the time. So I'm so attractive. That kind of thing. I, 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 so that's why I just... I don't even buy that she's ever cheated on someone because I don't even buy that she's had the capability to cheat on someone. So, the shit community that fat shames me while looking like this I need to cut it out. I love the community is like, oh, who the fuck is that? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> And I guess there are two. I was about to say, I love this, but we're back to the community being only FFG again. But I guess there is a second person, and, whoever and the fuck this is. The five attitude. What the fuck is that? I don't know who the fuck are these people. <laughs> I hear them genuinely. Who the fuck are these people? Because you're fat. I know I don't watch a lot of reactors, but like, who the fuck were any of those people? <laughs> like, no, I know FFG, but like, Jesus Christ. The third one, they looked like they squashed them in. Like, you know, like, sometimes when I'm making, like, a, 
like a thumbnail, you might stretch out Foodie Beauty on like the Y axis, is it? Is the Y the, the, the length one? Like you might stretch them out on that axis to make them look wider. She looks like she's done the opposite and made that person look like like squashed or so they have like a longer head and pointier nose. That's what she looks like she did in the last one. You can't get a man because of by that logic, neither can all of you. <laughs> The third person in particular didn't look fat. The second person also didn't look nearly as fat as, like, FFG. Like, FFG is probably the closest person who seems, to, like, towards being, like, Chantel's weird, but she's still not nearly as fat as, like, Chantel. But the second person, and certainly the third person, didn't look, like, nearly as fat as, like, Chantel does. So I don't know what... Like I said, this is, like I said, the weird delusion where she is just like, oh, see that person? They're 10 pounds overweight. I'm 300 pounds overweight. We're basically the same person. <laughs> just saying. Sorry, I know I generally don't show you food, but she was like just saying, <laughs> like she's like totally dunked on all the haters and try to like, I don't, I don't know, like eat off the fork and try to look badass doing it. I totally fucked up. <laughs> Are you so bad at everything you do? You're 450 pounds. Surely the one thing you should be good at doing is eating. I just want to nip that in the bud. But you, but like you didn't have a point. You still haven't. I've been sitting here on the edge of my seat the entire time, waiting for our point to materialize, and we haven't had a point so far. The point so far has been FFG's fat. <laughs> I, I, you could have stopped this. Like we're thirty minutes in. You could have summed up this entire video as FFG is fat and unattractive. As such, it's fine that Salah cheated on me by wanting to shit on people and grape them. Like, you might as well sum. Like, that should have been the title of the video. Oh, and I'm going to say this with the utmost smugness and sassiness I can say. Oh, I can't I wait. I will never stay with someone. I can't wait. <laughs> with the smugness I have. I will never st st um, stay with someone. Um, <laughs> you should have thought of your fucking point before you started saying it. Who isn't attracted to me. And I can tell. Natter wasn't. By how much affection. Natter wasn't much, attracted to you. Natter routinely made fun of her appearance. Like, routinely made fun of her appearance. Like, Nader was not attracted to her. Nader was attracted to her money. So maybe she's fine with that. Maybe she considers her money just an extension of herself. But, like, Nader certainly was not attracted to her. Oh, how much everything you get from that person. So there. But that wasn't, like... Okay, see, I was expecting, like, a smugness thing. Like, she was going to try and say, like, I'm amazing in bed. I am such a fucking catch. That would make sense with the smugness thing. But, like, I wouldn't stay with someone who's not attracted to me. It's like, well, that's not... That's not even a smug statement. <laughs> How, how, like, the one time that she's, like, declared her smugness before she goes for it, she totally fucked up. Like I say, she batted everything. Hi. Hold in that burp there, love. Go me. on. I'm on. I'm doing it for myself. <laughs> that was a good jump husband. cut. Not my husband. Not anyone. But <laughs> the, the health journey that materialized the second Sala wanted to shit on someone else. You know, that health journey. Yes, yeah, that was that, it was certainly not poop related whatsoever, guys. Okay, I'm just going to skip to here because I'm probably going to honestly skip to the end of the video because we suddenly... Like, after the last thing I showed, she suddenly just started talking about, like, so, actually, guys, I haven't eaten, even eaten out in about a week. I'm actually doing really well. I'm really going monitoring what I'm eating, and I'm actually going to start cooking for myself, or just the usual shit that literally no one cares about. And then, very suddenly, just in the last, like, 10 seconds or so, she suddenly just starts complaining again. It's actually in points. It's like someone just reset the video, and she started talking about the same points again, where, like, she hates people's attitude that fat people can't find partners, and that... There, there's apparently only thin people can find partners, and that is what everyone's saying here in the situation. Which, like I said, is literally not what anyone has claimed at all. I have no idea how we're going to last for the next five minutes, because I, I'm assuming it is just going to be us just repeating points because we've we're just finished the food, so it's not even just going to be her eating. So I don't know what the next five minutes is going to be, but I am, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, bro, we've covered all this already. I, I realize you want three more mid roll ads, but I don't, I don't care. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm skipping this because holy shit, like. Suddenly she just started like I I guess she was like fuck I haven't tried to like troll enough yet oh I'll go and get Julia and she came back and started screaming at, at Julia over and over and over again held up Julia to the camera Julia looked like it wanted to kill itself uh, looked very mad at everything like that and then just then Julia escaped ran like fuck and then she just started the video again exact same point how dare people say fat people aren't allowed to ha have partners and only thin women are allowed to have partners how dare you all say that anyway all my reactors we're all fat and it's like bro jesus are we seriously doing this again and then she randomly started complaining about thigh caps like randomly i was like uh just stand with your legs spread across you have a thigh gap yeah thank you thank me later i was like 
I love to see this woman thinks a thigh gap is like if you spread the stand, like spread legged and your thighs don't touch, that's considered a thigh gap. That's not what a thigh gap is. Uh, I, yeah, I'm so, I'm so done. I'm assuming the next two minutes are just going to be exactly the same thing again. Um, I'm a very loving person when I'm All in a right. relationship and I'm funny and I'm pretty and... <laughs> God, I nearly fucking passed out. Holy shit, I'm seeing like fucking triple fucking. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus, fuck. I can't. She didn't just do that, did she? She saved that. That was like an Easter egg. For any of you guys who decided to sit through 21 minutes of this shit, there you go. She saved that one for you. Oh my god, <laughs> guys, she's pretty. <laughs> guys, she's pretty, and she's funny, and she's really loving. The fucking delusions of grandeur. Holy actual shit. That's the funny thing about her. Is like, despite her constantly trying to like compare herself to like women who are like 10 pounds overweight, she thinks that they're on the She actually thinks she's a fucking catch. I, I, I can't. I, I can't even like pick out my brain and put it into a body with that level of delusion. I couldn't, I can't, I can't even imagine how delusional a person you'd have to be if she thought he actually thinks she's attractive in any way. Look at this thing. Look at it. <laughs> That's going to get me going for the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, foodie. Oh my God. Do you know what? I'm glad. I was actually just tempted just to end the video there and to just be like, we're just going to skip to the next one because you're going to repeat herself. I'm so glad we didn't. Thank God. Jesus. Everything I bring to the table. What do you bring to the table apart from quesadillas? My has nothing to do with it. Oh, you quesadillas, do you? Um, you <laughs> no, you I don't. How can people deny that? I have so many videos. You don't do anything. Literally don't nothing. Do She's a travel channel that goes to the same petting zoo over and over and over again. And she's like, I, I, guys, I uh, I bring so much to the table. Like, uh, uh, we, 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 we go to the park. <laughs> I can't. I can't fucking. Seriously. Like, seriously. Is that more or less delusional than her thinking she's pretty thing? That she has to argue that, guys, we go to the park. How can we not be in love? Oh, my God. That's also something you can't say. Oh, well, you know, we I, I, don't do more. I, we do. You don't. You don't. You don't. Everyone should worry about themselves. I, I do. About what other people are doing. Like, I do. Not. I'm not worried about you whatsoever, bro. If you were roll, I was about to say walked. Hi, silly me. If you rolled out your front door and got hit by a bus, I would not give 200 fucks, bro. I worry about myself considerably more than I worry about you. Trust me. But, bro, that still does not mean I will accept the lie that you do a lot with your life and that you're pretty or funny, or loving, <laughs> any of that shit. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh my god. She doesn't even um, believe it. Look, when she's like s trying to smugly gloat, this is the attitude. You remember like early on she goes, I'm, I'm gonna say it <laughs> with full smugness and then said something that didn't actually make sense for that situation. This is her body language when she's trying to talk about how attractive she is and how she is such a fucking cat. This is her body language. She looks like she's about to cry any second. Do you know what, foodie? Maybe you should actually worry about yourself. You keep telling me to worry about myself, and I do. Trust me on that. Maybe you should worry about yourself. Maybe you should have a big fucking mirror up when you're fucking doing this speech next time to see if you actually buy it. <laughs> Look at her. That's like me saying that. Oh, I can't wait. Most of the female reactors uh, in Gore World can't get a man because of their weird mouth. Who are these fucking people? <laughs> I love she has ooh, like, yeah, like, ooh is the fourth picture. <laughs> but she do. But she does. Didn't she just do that earlier on? Didn't she just say they were making up men? Didn't she just do that earlier on? Like, that's, I'm, guys, am I going crazy or is she going crazy? That's literally what she just, this is why I say about the, the level of delusion. But once again, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> I know FFG. Who the fuck are these people? Masculine vocal fry. That's not true, is it? I love that she always brings up the voice about the masculine vocal fry because she is that person who goes like, hey guys, how are you? Yum. That kind of shit does her low BMI voice because that is her like tricking. I remember, I always remember someone calling her out, why the fuck are you speaking like that during this video? And she's, that's just my normal voice. And it's like, 
bro, what the fuck are you talking about? That is why she's so obsessed with like a masculine sounding voice because she genuinely thinks that she is able to put on like a soft feminine voice. I've looked, I've reacted to this one for so much longer. So either I'm going to like compile the three still and it's going to be a one long ass video for you guys or I'm going to have to cut it up. Might be a long ass video, you know, so I'll, maybe I'll treat you guys. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for having dinner with me. She's so Thanks annoyed. As always. Anyway, ha! <laughs> immediately shuts down again. Immediately sad again. Um, oh my god. Like I said, I'm, I'm so glad I watched the end of this. A cooking video real soon. Because... Oh, I don't care. We're skipping now. Okay, guys. The last video is like 17 minutes long. Whatever. We're probably not going to be a lot to it. Uh, it's the my healthy chicken pot pie. Uh, she talked about it several times that she's going to make this pie in the last video. I'm surprised we didn't get, like, a cooking video, because I thought that was, like, the point of this. She, let, she literally said over and over again she was going to do a cooking video, but I guess not. I guess we just have a pie that is, like, nearly as big as her torso. <laughs> That's fucking massive. Uh, fantastic. Like, this is how it starts. The video starts with her having already eaten, like, I don't know, like a third of the pie. <laughs> like, holy shit. Uh, I guess we're just going to get straight into it, guys. Let's go. Oh, hello, guys. Hello. Hello. I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna say bismillah and dig right in. Okay? Yes. Wow. Oh my god. So you've already been eating it beforehand, then? There's crust here. Um, As you can see, I'm eating hot pie. Yeah, I can say. I can't believe, like, we just started in the middle of the meal. Like, she's already been sitting there eating. I can't believe that. Look at the chicken. Look at the chicken. <laughs> like I said, this is a woman who actually considers food to be porn. Mm. I just. She's like dropping bits. This is why you know this is her personal pie. And I've never thought I would say the sentence, personal pie, but personal pie, here we go. Like this is, you know this is hers because she is seriously just eating over it, dropping her leftovers on top of it so she could eat them later on as well. I can't, I can't believe she has a personal pie. Holy shit. I need to open a restaurant. Do you? I make the best pot pie. Do you? I'm just going to say it looks dry as fuck. Like I... I don't, I don't have to admit, I'm not really like a pie guy. I, I'm not really a huge fan of them. There have been a few that I like. When we went to New Zealand, there's a lot of like pies in New Zealand. I don't know why, but they really like pies over there. So I guess it's a bit of a pie country. And they had some really nice ones over there. But generally, I don't really like pie. This just looks like, I don't know, she's going to like die. <laughs> she just looks like she's going to die if she eats this whole thing. Now, my pie crust oh, is if, made with I don't care. Oil. Not butter, not lard. Okay. <laughs> I, I I have to admit, like I said, I'm not a pie guy, so I don't make pies, so I don't know. But it's not, it doesn't really sound like incredibly healthy, but like it could be. I, I'm going to say, I don't know. If it's going to be hard just talking about her pie and like trying to like act like she's a good dainty housewife, I'm probably going to skip because I don't care. There's no bottom crust. It's just... No one top. cares! Oh my god, I'm so fuck. Oh my god, we're only halfway through. I went and did I went and hoovered my haul. <laughs> I thought I thought it'd be close to being done. <laughs> oh my god, she's eating so much. I was sitting listening in my headphones, so obviously because I'm a professional, I don't wanna just like walk away with the video player like me listening to it whilst I'm doing my hoover. But oh my god. Uh she claims that, that the bit that I eaten beforehand definitely wasn't her, it was my husband's. <laughs> That shit. And it's like, okay, bro, whatever you say, even though earlier on you said that you got it in the middle of you eating, which implies that you had been eating prior to this. So good good, good work there, holding up your lie. Um, claims that her stamina is through the roof because she did so much walking today, guys. Oh my God. And it's like, did you? <laughs> like, this would have been the time for the one where she walked around the park, which was like probably one of her shorter walking ones, wasn't it? Because, like, especially when she claims she walked for two hours, but she claims her, her sound is through the roof because she's walked for four days in a row, guys. Because, you know, like I said, these people who've never exercised like a day in their life, they seem, firstly, like, seem to think stamina is, like, walking, even though, like, most normal people would never refer to walking as stamina because that would be embarrassing. Most people think of like, walking as, like, like, stamina as, like, jogging or being able to, like, do repetitive, like, like weights or something like that over and over and over again. As opposed to, well, I could walk a wee bit, I guess. Um, but, yeah, apparently she thinks it's just, like, over overnight it just increases. Oh, I guess I'm going to go and hoover. I do have the living room. That'll upset Goober though, because she's sleeping here beside me and Chonkers over in the couch. Should I do the kitchen? I might do the kitchen instead, guys. I'll check in again later on. I wanted to film it, but we got home later than I thought. It was pretty much already dinner time by the time we got home and I still had to like make everything from scratch.
But first, I had to clean the kitchen. Clean the dishes from the last time I cooked my, yeah. my previous meal. <laughs> the previous meal is your case today is stop it. How would that stop you? <laughs> How would that? Oh, guys, I, I I got home late and as such, I couldn't film me cooking it. It's like, why? It's like, I don't know. She does, it's not like she does anything special for her filming. She has like the camera set in one place. Doesn't move. She doesn't pick up the show with the food or anything like that. It sits in one place and she just kind of dandles back and forth. That is it. So how, how would you, you start starting late stop you from being able to film it? That doesn't make any sense. Bro, think of a better lie. Jesus Christ. I'm assuming what she's secretly saying is that like the ingredients came out of a tin or something like that. And Also, yeah, she claimed earlier on she made this pickled cabbage herself. Um, I don't know if she ever showed the front because like I said, I, I haven't been here. I've been walking around, but I just, I, I also just don't buy, buy it like whatsoever. I just did everything super fast. If I filmed it, I would have had to get dressed. But you're, you're dressed right now. Like what? So were we like, were you cooking naked or something like that? Like what? You're dressed right now. So like the dress is like the same. Like if you, if you're doing this, like, oh, well, I just wanted to have a nice relaxing night with my husband then it would have made sense where you didn't have to get dressed whatsoever. But if you're cooking this to then get dressed, to then, you know, film it, then surely that's, it's like exactly the same. It doesn't really make any difference. Like, I mean, I would have had to stay dressed. <laughs> you are dressed. Are you naked right now? Am I just stupid? Is she secretly part leopard or something like that? And I just never worked out. I can eat the whole jar, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Self-restraint. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. 400 pound, uh, 450 pound woman. Self-restraint. This is a sentence that makes sense to me, boys. Not something I'm very familiar with, but... Yep, I noticed. You're 450 pounds. I'm learn. Uh-huh. Right, BB Gian? Didn't you just eat, like, two quesadillas? Right. Let's see this crispy crust here. Is it crispy? Ooh, chunks of chicken. Yeah. I'm gonna say... It doesn't, it doesn't look crispy. It looks... Well, it looks burnt in places. <laughs> it looks dry it doesn't look crispy you know crispy i would expect you to hear like a crunch or something like that from it but the, you don't get that mm. so i'm back to my hoovering guys i literally walked for like probably a good three to four hours today no, you didn't. and i barely sat down no you didn't um, stop it what do you got i just like from what do you got? From Stop. I have seen you walk. I'm sorry, I'm still standing up. <laughs> I saw you walk for two minutes the other day in a video and you were just jump cutting between benches. Can you? I walked for four hours. I didn't even sit down, guys. I'm so fit suddenly. Do you know why? I walked three times before that. Yep, that's just how it is. One day around one mile, the next day around 26 miles. That's how marathon training goes. I think you just do like one day of training and you're just like, you're suddenly fit enough, isn't that? That's how, that's, that's how, that's how that works out, isn't it? This is, like this is how you can always tell when someone has never done any physical activity before. If they think that's just how it works, is you just flick a switch, suddenly boom, you're run, you're you're running a marathon. <laughs> oh God, what are you on about? So much or just not eating a lot of junk food? What? I, you ate a talk about last video. My walk is like I don't even feel any pain. It's crazy. I, I literally saw you take a step down from a bench the other day and you looked like you were about to break in half and then cry. <laughs> like if we just, I, I for some reason I don't even feel any. Pain. Who are you lying to? Me or yourself? I feel it's yourself here because I can see. I have eyes. I can look at you and go like, holy shit, she can barely walk the length of her. You're just lying to yourself at this point. That's really pathetic. Oh my God. Oh my God. This, oh my God. Like, I, I fucking hell. I've done so much cleaning already. <laughs> We've still only got two minutes left. We've only got two minutes left. I'm not going to go into any more cleaning. We'll just get this done. Mm, that was good. Okay, now I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> feel full. She's starting to feel full you guys at half of the pie. Half. She's eaten as large a portion as her head. If you could put her head in that dish there. Uh, just starting to feel. Just starting. Not even full yet. Just starting to feel full. Right. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, thanks this for... This is the third um, anyway. And, um... Why did she just rub her nose and then immediately touch the pie? She just rubbed her nose and then reached out specifically to touch the pie with a finger she just rubbed the, rubbed the inside of her nose with. That was so weird. It was like so delayed. It's like, I don't know. Is she one of those gross people that likes to like 
make sure you know not to touch their part of the food by being gross. Like, they'll lick it or something like that. Is that what she does? She's, like, rubbing her fucking boogers on it. So, like, if, if like, I don't know, a burglar breaks in or one of her beezers shows up, they'll know not to eat her fucking pie or something like that. Because I'm not even going to pretend that it was a sign for Salah. Because Salah does not exist in this universe anymore. She fucking sat on him or something like that. They tried to do the Kybella secret, like, secret shitty role play or something like that. And she sprayed diarrhea down his fucking throat and he drowned. <laughs> <laughs> a case idea was a bad idea, guys. Um, she just right. This is like a third anyway, because she obviously is like, fuck, I haven't got. I want to get to about eighteen minutes, because then I can have eighteen mineral ads. Uh, uh, um. Anyway, um, uh, I watched a uh, uh, um a movie last night. It's uh, pretty. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was, yes, you know, it was, um, yeah, that is seriously like the level of insight we're getting here with her doing a movie review. Uh, I think we're probably done. We're going to skip to the end. Okay, that really, really terrible. Yeah, there's not, there's nothing else for the rest of it. Oh, God, like, yeah, the pot pie one was nothing. It was just her, like, binge eating. And in, in any way, do I believe that she's finished eating? No, of course I don't. Uh, but it was just, like, binge eating. I wonder what happened to make her have to sit there and comfort eat, because she pretty much described this throughout the video repeatedly as basically being comfort food that she craves. So obviously something happened that caused her to have to like been, maybe, hey, I don't know if Salah's cheating or something like that. You hear banging every once in a while. Maybe Salah's upstairs, uh, f f fucking Kai Bella or something like that. Who knows, guys? Uh, but that's going to be the end of this video. It's probably going to be a long one, because I'm going to try and squish the three of these together. Going to be that. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.